guys welcome back to my channel so today i have for you guys an amazing dollar tree haul and omg guys did i find so many amazing things like the dollar tree lately has been a hit 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 which is bad 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 because i'm running out of space so anyhow first things first my daughter stole my books and my little statue that i have put with the pretty flower and like the the greenery hanging out tina just take over tina then we have the ice cream truck outside all we need is for the dogs to start barking and it's a whole and there's my son barking <laughs> anyway guys so yeah i had a little display i showed it in a few a few videos ago where i bought the statue from michael's it's like that head statue that is kind of like a planter you can put like a plant inside of it i had set it on my coffee table on top of books it looked beautiful but my daughter stole it for her room which is fine i don't care she wanted it for her shelf because she has like a bohemian um style that she's going for in her room and she liked the way that that looked so i picked up some more books from the dollar tree now guys they have had some really good books lately this one is called the perfect predator a memoir a scientist race to save her husband from a deadly superbug this seems like a really good book it is 28 dollars in the u.s and 36.50 in canada however i don't want it to read i want it for my table so what i do is when i look for books at the dollar tree I try to remove the covers to see the colors, you know, on the actual book itself. And I like to look for the pages that look kind of vintagey. This one doesn't really have a vintage look, but the colors will work. I'm not too fond of the red, but I can hide it. So, and I did pick up a, a few. This one is a book about the Holocaust. It's Hell's Traces, One Murder, Two Families. 35 holocaust memorials so it seems like a holocaust book on the back it says 25 in the u.s and 35 in canada and it's branded as a history book i really liked the cover on this book because it is black so you know it'll match with everything and i kind of like the way that that looks you know like see when you start to stack them up they look really pretty so this one is a novel, Red Moon, and it's a New York Times bestselling author, Kim Stanley Robinson. This is probably a book that my son might like to read because he's into the whole space stuff and all of that. This is US, the cost is US 27, Canada 35.50. And what really drew my attention to this one is the pages. You see how they're like a little separated? Now, if you really wanted to, you could get like, I don't know, like tea bag water, um, you know, something to kind of make this look a little more distressed. I'm sure you crafters out there have better ideas than I do. I'm not a big crafter, so I don't really know, but you guys see how pretty the book looks. And I love, again, the way that those pages look if you see it compared to this one you'll see what i'm talking about and if my phone would focus you see how it's different it kind of gives it that vintage look so i got these and then i have one more this one is called the trap i know who killed my sister i wrote this book for him which that kind of really intrigued me it, it seems like a book that i would like to read um, it says $14.99. This to me looks like either a Walmart or a Target sticker. Let me see if it has, okay, it has a price inside only for the US, $26. So, I don't know. I liked, again, the pages. Show you guys. And the book is black and gray, which will match perfectly. So look, let me show you guys the idea here. Could even put... I don't know why, but this one has like a mark here. So I'm going to have to turn that around. It's like a marker mark. But see, you stack up the books like this. And if you want to give it more height, you add the white one. 
and look that's gonna look so pretty with something on top of it so that's what i got the books for then you guys oh my god if you guys saw a few hauls ago i found the hand mitt the oven hand mitt and like the little oven the square one right with this print i fell in love with this print i think it is gorgeous they had these three different plates so this one says welcome home these are glass like ceramic this one says simply blessed and this one says happy place now literally guys the day that i went they were putting all this stuff out and i went back two days later these were all gone i only got one of each i don't know what the heck i was thinking you guys but now i'm thinking okay maybe what i could do is i have like a lot of wall space in my kitchen these would look nice like you know how some people hang the plates on the wall they sell like something where you can hang the plates like that i don't know it's an idea i'm not sure if i'm gonna do that yet but i should have really gotten six because then i could have set the table like maybe done something like this let me see if i could show you guys and left it on every table you know like on every place setting that would have looked really pretty but then i said we use this table it's not like we have an extra table and this is like our fancy table you know what i mean so it was going to be a headache to remove these every day i don't know but i love these and i could not have passed them up i said heck to the no they are beautiful and they are coming home with me and they sure did and then of course they had these i wish that they would have had it with the different sayings like the plates do but it was only let me make sure oh no guys wait i didn't notice this simply blessed simply blessed simply blessed simply blessed and oh this is the only one that's stiff oh man i kind of messed up so they did have them different i don't see any that says um what's the other one hold on welcome home i don't see any that say welcome home they either say simply blessed or happy place but i only got one that says happy place and i didn't even notice so yeah so now you know be careful when you pick them out and then they also had this and this just looks so pretty to me i'm thinking of setting this i'm probably gonna change my whole table now because now i'm into this so i might place this in the center of my table maybe put some candles or something to make it look pretty or some flowers i don't know yet but it's plastic so you know this is not a tray that you want to really use as a serving tray with heavy things on them i would say if you are having guests over you can probably definitely use this like maybe for some appetizers you know to put on your coffee table in your living room something like that but oh yeah wow i'm so thrown back by that that thing with the placemats you guys bueno that let me get these two items out of the way these are the only two items that i have in this haul from target i picked these up guys and these are beautiful they had these two shapes these are lanterns and they light up so it has the little tab on the bottom and then you turn it on and look at how pretty that is so my idea is to decorate for the fall have these two lanterns on the center of my table like in the middle of my table runner and then add to this here we go this is from the dollar tree add like the little pumpkins around it but the wooden pumpkins that i hauled in my video from yesterday those are perfect for what i'm going for like laying them all out now i did find oh and i'm sorry guys these were five dollars each at target then i did find these at the dollar tree and let me show you guys the three that i got i think i got one in each color so this one says be blessed be thankful i think they all say the same thing this is like that rustic orange color 
right? And then they had it in this beautiful, like, tur turquoise minty teal. Really pretty. Now, guys, be careful because as you can see, some of mine are messed up, but they were all like that. There was not one that was perfect, unfortunately. And then you have this one. So I'm going to scatter these around the house around the fall time. Put one on the coffee table, maybe on my fireplace mantle. I'm not sure yet. But I want to show you guys how pretty this would look together. Like it just, the colors are everything, right? How beautiful is that, you guys? That really drew my attention. So then, okay, I also found the walk strainer that everybody has been finding. I was so happy because honestly, guys, my Dollar Trees don't really get things like this from like other stores as much. So to find this, I was surprised. And the funny part about it is that I bought the Dollar Tree one you guys saw in one of my hauls not too long ago with the intention of using it for deep fried Oreos and things like that because my kids sometimes like to make those and we do have a deep fryer so I can use that there or I can use it in our in, in a side thing like a regular frying pan you know so this is perfect you can use it for noodles for vegetables for fries this is for hot pot and it's a really nice size, you guys. Like, this is big. So I was really happy to have found that. Then um, I had shopped and done this haul. Well, gotten these products from this haul before I got the ones that I hauled yesterday, if that makes any sense. And I had not found yet the job, um, you know, desk organizer thing. So I had gotten these because I needed this length and something like this for my vanity to continue to organize my makeup, like my mascaras, my lipsticks, things like that. So I had gotten these. These are not the best. I'm not a big fan of these. But this one, they each brought three, which is a great deal for $1.25. But just an FYI, guys, these are very plasticky. You know, like they're not very firm is what I'm trying to say. So just, you know, remember that when you buy them. Then you guys, I'm going to include a clip because I did not purchase all the colors. But look at this. How gorgeous is this? And like I said, for example, you can set this. Oh, que no se me caiga because it will break. You can set this like this on your coffee table. Look at how beautiful that looks. It gives it interest. It just makes it look pretty, elegant, simple, chic, um, expensive. <laughs> you know what I mean? They had them in all different colors. Like this is like a white. They had like a more bone color, a more gray color. But this is beautiful, guys. This is so well made. I love this i think it, it looks so elegant so pottery varnish you know then let's see what else i have here is this just one okay i think so so i got this one pumpkin because i already had gotten the other colors that they had so I just got this cream color pumpkin. And again, guys, this is all going to look so beautiful together. I don't really want to shop for the fall yet because I don't have space to put these things right now. But the problem is that if you don't pick up these things now at the Dollar Tree, they're going to disappear. And then you're going to be like, you know, like effed out, you know. So that's why I got them. Uh, okay, then I got these. Now, I got these for my bathroom. In my bathroom, I have like a Paris, France type of theme. So, I do have, are these rusty? I hope not. I do have some candle holders like this, but they're not from the Dollar Tree. I think they came from Christmas Tree Shop. And uh, they were all turning rusty like the colors were changing so i'm gonna swap them out throw those out put these in place and just put little tea lights it goes with the whole vibe of the bathroom so i figured i'd pick those up for that then you guys 
I found these and they had a whole bunch of these when I went and then when I went back they were all gone. These are so cute. So you can either put them like this or you can lay them like that. And I figured I could use these for my scrunchies, like the little head, like the little, you know, scrunchies that are not like, not like these, the little ones. So the ones that look like rubber bands, you know what I mean? So I figured I could use it like that and give it like a more elevated look, either in my bathroom or on my vanity if it fits. So yeah, so I got it for that purpose. And if not, I can always make use for it in the kitchen. One thing that it would be really nice for, it might be a little big, but I thought of it for people that have crickets printing out the name of like let's say garlic powder onion powder things like that and using it for spices putting a little scoop in it I don't know but I thought that these looked really nice and I had to pick them up and I'm glad at least I got two because like I said guys when I went back no había nada then I got if you guys saw in my other haul I had gotten these in the pink and lavender i think so these are the type that i'm saying that i want to put in there so then i now i got them in the mint and the cream color it brings four and it's the scunchy brand so these would fit nicely in something like this so that's kind of where my idea is with that then you guys i found these signs how beautiful guys look at how well made these are this one says home obviously and this one says love i know you guys can read so either in a reef i could probably even add this in here i don't know if you guys can really see it there this might be too big for this reef but maybe even under it i don't know guys i don't know yet what i'm gonna do with these but they were beautiful i could not pass them up i had to grab them and you can like i said make a wreath get a wreath form make a beautiful wreath put these in the center of them you can hang them up just as they are you could probably sit them somewhere as well but they're just beautiful like look at how pretty this is and for a dollar 25 like things like this are so much more expensive in hobby lobby so i had to grab it then i've seen a couple of you guys hauling the ensueño in the little package like the like the como se dice like it looks like a juice box type of package thing i can't think right now like a bag okay my store didn't have those but they brought these back so i grabbed a purple and a pink they only had these two cents guys this smells so nice Oh, the purple is like what is the scent of this violet bouquet i love it and this one is spring fresh the pink one this one smells amazing too and i'm gonna tell you something right now you know what i love about this when i'm doing laundry and since my laundry machine is right in my kitchen when i'm doing laundry and it's washing you smell this and it just it makes the entire house smell so good so i love it i love doing laundry for that reason because when i add these things to it it just guys it just smells so good it's hard to explain <coughs> okay then let me see let me show you two food items that i have here simply jessica i watch her i'm kind of a silent viewer of hers i don't think i've ever commented on her channel but she had mentioned that these chocolates were really good um the milk chocolate with caramel and the dark chocolate with raspberry i don't like dark chocolate and i don't like raspberry with chocolate but caramel and chocolate yes ma'am i picked up one and i i already went through it because this has been here since monday guys and today is Thursday that I'm filming this. You guys will probably see this haul on Friday. But yeah, I picked two up. Like I said, one is gone. And these are a nice size. And they're good. They're definitely not bad. Then in the tooth section, the toothbrush section, 
I found this. It's Fisher Price Brush Buddies Toddler Dental Kit. It's a two pack, so you have for the baby to chew on, and like for the toddler. My so my grandson is gonna be two. I think he's a little too big for this, but like I I mentioned in another video his godfather is expecting a baby well his godfather and girlfriend are expecting a baby girl and my daughter wants me to help her make a little basket so i'm gonna be adding this to the little basket i'm just picking up things as i see them so that has to go over there in the bag there and kind of like separating them so that i know where everything is so i've picked up little booties i got that you know little by little i'm picking up things for her as i see them and then guys i also found these two books and i had to pick them up because they just look expensive and i was like what the heck they're 20 dollars each in the u.s but 25.99 in canada and this one is a dk out of the box 25 cardboard engineering projects for makers so basically this book is has different things for the kiddos to make. It teaches them how to make it, see, step by step, which I think is amazing. Like these books just to even have as displayed on a bookshelf looks so nice. This one is the Maker Lab 20 Super Cool Projects Build, Invent, Create, and Discover. And again, it just, <coughs> Hey, guys, I told you guys, always, 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 always. Food for thought. It just has so many different things that you can make with the books. And it's pretty cool. So I got these. Um, my son can display them in his room. He has a little desk with our Mac um, desktop there. So he can either put it there or he has like a little shelf in his closet. So... Or he could read through the books if he's interested in them, you know? Okay, back to the food. Sorry, guys, this is kind of random. I was hungry when I went. I'll be real. And I wanted sweets. I got a box of the sweet rolls. It brings eight. And it's the Freshly's, Mrs. Freshly's brand. And then I got the pecan twirls, sweet rolls. And this one brings six. So I got these for us to have in our little snack bin. For whoever wants a sweet treat. Then let's, okay, let me finish with the things that I have for home decor. So if you guys saw my other haul, I had picked up some of these for my mom because she, this is just something that she would love. And I had picked these up for myself. I also have a black one that's, a, that's in a, the circle shape. But guys, look at how beautiful these are. These are so pretty like what i just i i can't the things that the dollar tree has been bringing out for home decor like i've said it's just crazy cute then i got this cute salt and pepper shaker fun fact i don't really have like the shakers you know to put on the table or to have out so that when i'm cooking i could just shake it so i thought that this was cute because it also matches the little tray that i got so I got those. Then, okay, look at these Sesame Street characters that I found, you guys. These were so cute. They have, these are for 18 months to four years. These are great stocking stuffers. They have Oscar the Grouch. So, of course, I got these for my grandson. Is he Oscar the Grouch? Wait. I'm so confused now. I think so, right, guys? I think that's his name. Yeah. Oscar the Grouch. Elmo. Elmo's World. No, 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 no. I remember when my girls were little, especially my oldest, she was obsessed with Elmo's World. Then they have Cookie Monster. And Abby Kadabi, I think, is this one's name. It's funny that it doesn't have their names on there. And Abby Kadabi. I think that's her name. 
they had those four so i picked those up and guys this is name brand this is sesame street play school hasbro like this is not dollar tree brands right no green briar on here nope so this is such a cute little gift i love this add-ins for christmas stocking stuffers you guys know the drill then they had a whole bunch of these jellies west hot sister sisters scissors i just got these for me to be honest and i love the handles they are so cute and soft they had them in pink blue green and purple i want to say i believe those were the four colors but first of all the packaging is beautiful and look at how beautiful these scissors are this house is going to have so many scissors that it's just insane then I ha I found these Hot Wheels and I picked these up. So this is a new Braille racer. It's called Twin Mill and it's a uh, new for 2023 X, X3, X3 motors, four out of five. So I got this one. Look at how nice that car is. They only had one, so I picked up one. Then they had this Batman one. This one's five out of five, Batman the Animated Series. Like what? Look at how cool that is, guys. Then they had the Batman Forever, two out of five, Batman Forever Batmobile. Look at how cool that one is. Oh, and I did find two of the purple one. So I got two of that one. And then last for the cars, Fast and the Furious Corvette Grand Sport uh, Roadster, 8 out of 10. My husband is a big Fast and the Furious fan, so this is, like, amazing. I have to show this to him. He has not seen this yet. He's going to go crazy for this. And then, guys, last but not least, I have been going crazy because I'm running out of my Salon Selective Leave-In Conditioner. Amber from Amber's To-Do List. I don't know if you've seen these, but my store just put these out. This is a leave-in soothing conditioner as well, but it has frizz control and argan oil from Morocco. So I picked up two of these in case. They don't bring back the purple one because I haven't been able to find it. But this is what it looks like for those of you that use it or want one. Um, so, yeah, guys, I just got two of that, you know, just in case, like I said. And that's it, guys. That concludes my Dollar Tree haul. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. You guys know I love talking to you and getting to know you. Um, hit that bell so that you get notified each and every time I upload a new video. And girlfriend, I'm talking to you. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Subscribe if you like what you see. If you don't, it's okay. But I love you all. Se me cuidan por ahí. And I will see you guys again very soon. Bye, amigas. Bye, friends.